Yes. Is that the sound effect for the queen? Someone didn't take their allergy medicine this morning. So. Look, I feel stuffy too. It's like the weather change. It would appear that this soldier is literally throwing a grenade at this airplane, which obviously would never happen in real life, but it has happened on one of those anti-Japanese war TV shows. And he throws the grenade up in the air, and of course it goes off at just the right time and destroys the Japanese plane. My favorite was the dialogue line, the Japanese killed my grandfather when he was three. Like, let that marinate for more than five seconds and your head explodes. But that's not why we're here. Speaking of exploding. So, welcome back to Big Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty, and we're back with our friend, Sean. AKA the Silver Spleen. Silver Spleen, if you haven't seen his channel, check it out. That's right. And also, he was with me before doing the military yes. battlefield video for Oxford Block that's up here. Yes. Go watch it if you haven't seen it. It's really, yes. really fun. So, yes. I brought Sean back because we're reviewing something brand new. This is Zing Bao's Across the Battlefield series A-10 attack aircraft. Model XB-06022. 961 pieces. Yes. So just a quick heads up, this is brand new from Zing Bao and there's three other sets that are available. On BrickMeUpScotty.com you can see them right here and you can see that they belong in a series called Across the Battlefield. There's tons of these sets. Look, so if you're into the military stuff, get yours here or keep watching the video. Okay, so first of all, I built this plane. I actually quite enjoyed it. The one thing is that Sean has no idea about durability and all that kind of good stuff. If it falls apart, it falls apart. It's not my fault. I'm just gonna pick it up. At the same time, Sean is gonna give us a little bit of a history lesson <clears throat> on what this is, because I have no idea what it is. Go right. for it, man. All it's right. all yours. The Fairchild Republic A-10 Thunderbolt, that's the official name, but it is colloquially known as the A-10 Warthog. A, in this case, the designator, as it were, stands for attack. This is, as the manual states, an attack aircraft. The primary mission for the A-10 is ground support. This is not a fighter aircraft, hence it is not the F-10, it's the A-10. Sole purpose for this is to find something on the ground and blow it up. The first A-10 was produced in 1976. It was not used in combat until the first Gulf War in 1992. All that said, let's take a very basic look at what makes this thing unique. The primary weapon is the 30 millimeter GAU cannon. The reason it's called a cannon and not a gun is because it fires explosive projectiles, often depleted uranium. This will definitely ruin your day. A lot of people say that basically what, what Fairchild did was designed a gun and then built a plane around it. And in many ways that could be true. They had to go through a lot to make sure that the plane could still fly properly while the weapon system was being used. I think, because I haven't verified it, I think that this actually has a mechanism where the empty shell casings stay in the plane to help maintain the proper balance. They also use titanium around the pilot so that the pilot is extremely well protected. It uses these two very large engines straight wing design and has obviously space underneath to carry lots of extra ordnance, GPS guided munitions, laser guided munitions. This plane is not designed to fight with other planes. Try, Try. let's see what's gonna happen to Sean, right. man. It's all yours. And, and okay, so the wings dip a little bit, but that's to be expected. Um, it's, it's heavier than I expected. It's heavier. Yeah, that's some weight you know. to it. Yeah, exactly. Now, as far as build goes, one thing I did really enjoy is that you actually feel like you're putting a piece of like brick plane together, whereas a lot of other sets I have seen with the plane, it's all like one piece. This actually feels like several pieces. You're building the wing separately, the tail. It feels good to me. I was pretty impressed. But it's certainly, you know, you look at this and you, it's immediately recognizable. And, and that's kind of interesting to me. Now, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen if I turn this thing up on end. Uh, it does have your, do you want to try? It hasn't fallen off yet. It hasn't fallen off yet. Do you want to show them the landing gear? Yeah. Pull this out. Let's just one down. Yes. And then this front opens up here. Now, obviously, on the real machine, they have like you know, and they have motors that do this automatically. It, it this would, wheel's a little bit harder to get out. Otherwise, it would take a lot of time. Stuck in here. There we go. Yeah. Nice little detail. Now, is this? It's actually pretty cool. I like that. Yeah. It's just like it's showing the rocket that's going off. It's a little bit animated. There we go. So I don't know how this is gonna sit. There we go. Hey, it's balanced out. It is a little bit back heavy though. A little Once bit. Drop to the back. A little tail heavy. Oops. But surprisingly, it has not yet really fallen off. Not bad so far, mm. right? No, not at all. If you hear the cannon, you weren't the target. Because obviously, you know, the, the rounds travel faster than the speed of sound, so they arrive on their target before the sound wave does. So yes, if you hear it, you weren't supposed to be the, on the receiving end. Sometimes they don't even have to shoot at people. Just the sound of the A-10's engines are enough to make the bad guys kind of go, all right, not today, we'll go have tea. 
For me personally, not being a military guy, I do like the engine though. I like the design of that. I think that actually looks pretty cool. So it's fairly a new aircraft. Well, 1976. Oh, okay. So it really isn't. I mean, it's certainly newer than say the B-52, right. which came online in the 50s. In general though, I, like I said, I really enjoy the fact that this, this is rather evocative. It's not exact, but it's not supposed to be. It's just supposed to remind you of it. It's cool that the flaps on the wings can go up and down. Flap. And the ones on the back here, here. Yeah. They can twist and turn. The bombs, the rockets, they, they can bombs. fall off pretty easy if they're yeah. not slotted in right. Right. I had really no issues putting it together. I do. I should mention this one here, along the side here where the printing is of the, yeah. the logo. Those aren't really fitted it's that an insignia. great. insignia. Insignia. Uh, th th those panels aren't yeah. fit good. I mean, it's not, it's not 100% flushed down right. in there, so that well, does It's probably off. designed and in detail, I would imagine. One more thing about the top part, like, what, the cockpit, right? It opens up dual like that? Is the it canopy. Supposed to, like that, like uh, that? No, actually, I th in real life, this, I believe, does not actually open. It's supposed it stays to closed. stay closed. Yeah. The yeah. nose actually comes off pretty easy. It's not really held in there. No! It's just like that. Right. It's kind of cool. You got this printed sign here, right, in the cockpit. That's actually a nice touch, and the joystick, and the chair for your minifigure. Very cool. I, I like this, the idea that you could maybe mount extra on the top of the wings, which you couldn't do in real life, but so what? But just to show you here, one thing that I was kind of weirded about, or I don't know if it's a good thing or not, it is secure on the top, but at the same time, it's not quite. The whole cockpit part comes off like as one piece. It's only held down by this little thing right here. That's it? It's just held down on the back. The front is not mounted at all. It's not mounted on the the side, right, there's, there's nothing no, there to hold it. Once it's in, yeah, like, you see, yeah, it's seated well and it's know? got gravity on its side. So. Oh, the bombs fell down. Not bad. The wings can also pop off if you like want to travel around with it. Just like that. The nose came off. You can take the nose off as well and put it away. But you know, if you want to travel around with this thing or putting it one place to another, now everything's falling off. Of course. If it isn't one thing, it's another. You can add more, right? Yeah, you could yeah. buy another set and get a whole bunch of these extra and just load the whole thing up. It's a pretty small set, but it does yeah. come with a minifigure and also comes with this. Yeah, well, wait, we didn't, where's the pilot? We didn't really look Oh, yeah, where's the pilot? Ah. Okay, we should go with the pilot first. Here is the pilot. Uh -huh. Can we name the pilot? We should name the pilot, right? Let me get sure. this. Sure. Rick D, there you are, you're the pilot of the jet. There you go. Details on the pilot. Looks fine to me, man. He has a face and a visor. The visor and is nice. Yeah, the visor, the helmet's a little bit big to me on this guy. He's cool though, printing is fine. I yeah. think it looks okay. We got these three guys. Because these guys have desert camouflage because they're on the ground, whereas he's wearing a green flight suit because he's up here. Well, not all the way up there. You know what I mean. Yeah, the only thing about the rig is like when you, this vest thing, when you have it on, like the head doesn't fit fully flush down, so it uh -huh. kind of pops out. Uh -huh. But if you take it off, oh, you pull you the his head, head on, off, it, it fits in perfectly fine without it. Right. Yeah. But the guy holding the shell, we'll call him Joshua T. Okay. Uh, we'll check out your other channel. He has a couple channels on there. We'll take all a look right. at that. And the guy holding the binocular is Revnov. Oh, okay, I, I like how this guy has sort of a, a, pardon the expression, porn stash. So Revnov, you got the porn stash going on. Exactly, porn stash, sidearm, you're good to go. And finally got the guy with his grenade, gung-ho guy. Yeah, throw the grenade, yes. Ah, and I like the expression on his face. Ah, ah. He is Gladiator Bricks Productions. Ah, ah, blow up the chopper. So there you go, those are the three minifigures. And then yes. once again, <clears throat> let's pull this out. This is the, whatever you want to call it. it. It's, it's an artillery piece. I think given, given the illustration on the cover of the manual, I think it, it, it's ostensibly <laughs> uh, an anti-aircraft weapon. This looks like about World War I. This really would not be very useful as an anti-aircraft weapon. Certainly not against an A-10, but that's not our story. The barrel tilts up and down. It does kind Elevates of- Elevates and depresses as it uh, kind of falls off here. That's depressing. And then that's what the wheel should do, but I don't blame them for not installing a gear mechanism. They should have, damn it, you guys. Yeah. But there you go, you know? Yeah, there Got it that? is. Oh, there's a couple of accessories here. It comes with these oh, okay. for the soldiers. Yes. Uh, oh, a machete, that's nice. A machete, a K bar. I'm not sure what that is. A pistol. Looks sure. like a baton. Yeah. Flashlight. Oh, walkie -talkie. oh, walkie talkie, yes, walkie talkie. I don't know what the two rings are. There's these two little rings Th this, here. This, I, I don't, yeah. Handcuffs? Unless it's some kind of, it wouldn't be handcuffs. I don't know, a way of doubling up the grip of I have no idea what that is. So everything on the set is printed. There are no stickers. And I like the insignia on the back. That's pretty cool. And you got some more prints here on the front where it says A-02. And on the tail there on the back, it says WA-1986. 
the star in the front here on the side and also on the gun i like the scorpion logo and i gotta mention i really actually love the texture of the tile that has it's kind of mixed in there it's like swirled up and it goes for the same with the minifigures as well really cool stuff the engines can are they supposed to rotate here like that i don't think so I mean, but they loose. do. I think you can get in there and like make it a little bit tighter if you want. They, yeah. they are a little bit loose here. But, you know. But surprisingly, as you saw, Sean picked it up. And it didn't, didn't fall leave. apart. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, let's test the wheels on this thing. Let's see how far it'll go if I push it. Not bad, eh? Nice finish. It's gonna take off. Oh, stayed up. It's that time again for dimensions. I got my ruler here made out of bricks just so you guys have a reference. And for the plane, I guess the back would be the highest point with a tail. These are with the landing gears down and this is around 11, just shy of 11 bricks. Without the landing gear, it's about nine bricks in height. And you know, it'll probably be like eight bricks as it goes from the engine. You can see it compared over here, you get an idea. There you go, I hope that helps. Now for the length, I'm not quite sure how to do it. Of course, I have the 32 by 32 base plate, but just so you know, it's actually a lot longer than that. I think I estimated it to be around 51 studs in length, but you know, you just have an idea there how much bigger it'll be. So if you're gonna make your own hangar or your scenery or your airport, I hope that helps. And you have the little mini figures here to just help you with the scaling. And let's look at the gun dimensions. For the dimensions here, we're looking at six bricks, just a little bit more, just shy of it. It's just hitting the tip right there, but it's about six bricks in height. We're gonna put this right down here. It is about 12 studs by length, and it is 11 studs by width. So if I put it in the center here, you kind of get an idea of what it's like on a 32 by 32 base plate. But there you go. Very That's nice. review for the A10. Yeah. So thank you, Sean, for coming back on the channel. Thank you for having me. You're welcome, and I hope that you guys have a closer look, whether or not this is for you. I don't know, I like it. I think maybe I have to review the other ones. I'm not sure. You guys want me to review the other military sets? Like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell. Yeah. Go visit Sean's channel. The Silver Spleen. For Hong Kong movie yes. reviews. I never watched a movie I couldn't complain about. You know, not child friendly, should I remind people? Not right? generally, no. All right, you guys. So, All right. until next time. Yes. You want to say it? Break me out. Go ahead. What well, break you up? The Lego arms can only go up and down. Right. This one can actually come out like that. Oh, okay. So I can give you a nice big hug. You want a hug? No. All right, there we go. Well, the cool thing is too, is just a reminder, no stickers. All printed. Oh, yes. very nice. And you put that on upside down. Oh, what? Well, it was on the right way around when you first came in. And, and I mean, they can't I see it either, so this is, the, I'm really just being... A... See, look, the other one is right, right? Yes. Sit. Sit. Oh, maybe you should put the pilot inside there and it'll bounce No out. treats for the warthog. Look at that. Bombs away. Is that what people want to see? Like... Have to be a little bit rough, man. We gotta make sure that this is... Okay, okay. No! Oh, the nose of the rocket came off. Surprise. Who, who made this? Zingbao. Zingbao. However you want to say it. You know? oh, yeah, does it really matter? I say Ding Bo, some people say Ding Bao, some that, people say yeah. Xing Bao. Let's call the whole thing off. So how would you call it? I don't know, Xing Bao. Xing Bao, right? Something like that. Right, so and this guy is the one that's going gung-ho, trying to throw right, the grenade. Right, trying to throw the grenade at the A-10, which even if everything worked out perfectly well, then he could actually throw the thing 300 feet in the air, and it went off exactly at the time, a grenade is going to do nothing to the titanium armor because this thing is actually designed to withstand the impact of a 23 millimeter cannon shell, so don't worry about that.